This is the Minor Dave Evers Show, or report, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the cases of the United States versus David Everest, and the uh, courts uh, totally ignoring the mining law. But because there's been new rulings on homeless, I was actually had nowhere to go. It took me quite the time to recover from them ordering me off my claim, mining claim, and moving me along. Well, it turns out that's an unjust uh, um, punishment for the poor. And I was poor at the time. Uh, I'm still poor. I'm just less poor than I was. So I'm going to be sharing some posts that I'm asking people to contact the White House, whitehouse.gov, go into the contact section, and ask President Trump to... uh, to either pardon me or get the Justice Department to hold a review in front of Magistrate uh, Clark and Judge Moseman in those two cases and have them review the case as at the time I was homeless. With this new ruling, they could overturn my convictions and they'd have to give me fine money back. Plus, uh, because it would be unjust punishment or cruel and unusual punishment uh, to do this, then they would have they would owe me uh, for my takings of my property. They'd have to refund it. I'd like them to build a house for me on my lot that I got now that I can't afford to build. Yes, that's true. I would like to be made whole. And I'll be sharing this out. Uh, this is going to be a short video, but basically, uh, U.S., uh, a U.S. attorney, S. Emanuel Marshall, was uh, having the U.S. Forest Service, USDA, Ranger Donna Mickley, hound me with federal employees. Uh, she was, uh, she ended up pleading uh, on her bar thing uh, for a suspension. By the way, she didn't go to jail. She should have went to jail for lying to a federal officer. Uh, when they conducted a review, because she was a, she was stalking her number two for sexual harassment, so she's a, she pleaded out to a known uh, uh, being a stalker and having mental issues with uh, with her partner. So, uh, for whatever reason, she wanted to illustrate she had power over me. Uh, by having the U.S. Attorney's uh, assistant, Doug Fong, uh, prosecute me in a willful manner and then getting me 30 days in jail. Uh, uh, I can't get the 30 days back. They can just compensate me. I appreciate any help anybody could do in either uh, if they're a paralegal, a lawyer, uh, or anybody that could uh, help me put pressure on the U.S. Attorney's Office to either get me a pardon from President Trump, which, or just outright conduct a review and argue in court that uh, in light of the uh, in light of the homeless ruling, this case should be reviewed and overturned based on new new rulings from the court, the appellate court and the Supreme Court. Uh, the, because this goes to the heart of the matter is, as I was homeless and poor, I just did, I argued it under the mining law, not under being homeless, because hell, how, how did, how was I supposed to know? I thought I had a property right. So you guys have a good day. It's Sunday and we're going to have fun and I'll be making short videos. Uh, I've now monetized my account, this account. I have some other problems to work out with PayPal, but that might help me uh, because of the commercials and enjoy them. Have a good day. And uh, anyways, I need some help. It's beyond what I can do. I've done everything I can to uh, get the word out. See, because the mining law west of the Mississippi or the agricultural uh, grants is what made uh, the lands available for people to use and file on. Now, the agricultural grants are gone, but the mining grant is still there, and we have lots of minerals. You should have open access. And 
Open access means to go in, find them, and extract them. Have a good day.